Bonjour French ladies, today in this video a little treat for you. I will show you two beautiful quintessentially French pieces. If you are new to my channel, a big welcome to you. Please subscribe, click on the little bell in order to receive the notifications and if you enjoy my videos, please share with your many friends. Thank you. This video is going to be a try-on, a try-on videos. I just bought two pieces. So the first one is this marinière, marinière or as you call it, or as you may call it, a Breton top. So this is the shape, a little bit rounded here. It is long sleeve in a very thick cotton. They are not made in thin cotton, but the cotton is very, very thick. Okay, long sleeves. You can have them, um, you know, navy with white stripes or white with blue stripes or, you know, various colors. But this is basically it. And this is this color. Um, you know, this shape is a timeless classic, timeless classic. And you also have a little vent here on both sides. So you have the stripes on both sides of the body and on the sleeves. So now, from which brand did I buy this? I bought this from a brand I have never mentioned before called Armor Lux. And they are based in Brittany, in the northwest of Brittany in Quimper. And they do this, you know, really classic French style from, you know, um, from the seaside, very nautical style. And this brand, Armor Lux, is almost 100 years old. It started in 1938. So something I wanted to show you as well is because as you know, and I always tell you that in France, we love stripes. And um, look, even in the boxes, you have stripes. You have stripes at the bottom, it says, Merci. The second piece I will show you is this absolutely gorgeous merino wool nautical sweater. And it is all in navy with a crew neck um, neckline, crew, crew neckline, and a, a button on the side on the shoulder with a little epaulette. Okay? So, there's something I wanted to show you. I wanted to talk to you about is sizing. I will go for a little bit more relaxed look and I went for a size 2. See, that's a 2. I think it's a little bit too big for me and I will order the size 1, okay? So I am a size 10 UK, 38 French and a size 6 US. So for me, that's a little bit too big, I think. But I will still show you the, um, the various outfits I can do. I can make with this one and also with that sweater. That sweater suits me perfectly, fits me perfectly, and it is a size 2 also. So for this one, I made the right choice, and I will also show you the outfits for that one. So in this first try-on, you know, this is something that I do when I buy something. First of all, before buying, I already know it will go with many pieces. As you know, this is what we do in a French chic style. And when I, come, when I receive the, uh, the pieces, the items, I like to try various things to create outfit and see how things go. So this is something I would like for you to do, you know. Um, if you don't already do it, just try various things. Will that suit? Will that not? And, you know, sometimes even try things that, you know, you think may not go. So let's try already. So I've got this marinière. I'm wearing these navy jeans and I am wearing those red ballet flat and I think this one gives a nice French look. Of course, if you want, you can tuck the marinière inside. To be honest, I am not very good at this French tuck that they call. You know, I, you know it depends on how high your waistband is. Sometimes it looks good, sometimes it doesn't. I am not too sure about that. I don't think it looks um, very good on me. But what you could do, for instance, is tuck a little bit here at the front. Okay, and do this, let's have a look, and do this like this, okay? Uh, I'm really not an expert, as you can see, on the French tuck. How silly is that? <laughs> so, I really like this outfit. The thing with French chic, we do uh, casual very well because it is never frumpy, you see? So, this is a casual outfit for me, 
I can wear it, you know, to go shopping, uh, to go on errands, really wear anywhere. And that goes fantastically together. I think it's a quintessentially French look. What do you think? So I am wearing my snake skin pumps here. I think that looks really good. I would definitely go for a meal somewhere, a restaurant, meet my friends. I think, you know, something again, you know, it's nice to mix it up a bit. So casual, casual, smart. And you see that goes really well. Okay. Please let me know what you think, but I like that look. Um, again, you know, I know we have two prints and sometimes print mixing doesn't mix, but let's not forget there's no those snake skin a court almost look nude and this is why for me it works okay so i'm wearing now my flats um sneakers i like them this is a no-brainer you will see that look a lot in front you know those jeans with those kind of sneakers white sneakers navy sweat sneakers in france we really like the converse so um these uh, i'm thinking about getting a pair of white one and a pair of navy one because navy ones because i know i will wear them you know with my jeans no brainer so i'm going to try them with a different pair of navy ones and you're going to see what i mean so these are with kind of a sneakers summer sneakers in navy it goes really well i like it again for me it's a casual look but again it's not frumpy but it's a kind of casual look we do in france very much with the navy uh, I like that look, uh, go anywhere, you know, uh, casual during the day, kind of shopping, errands, um, you know, that kind of thing. I think it will, it will go really well. And you can see how something like that, something so timeless, so classic, has been going on for, you know, nigh on 100 years. Um, you know, you can still wear them nowadays, you know, in a different look. But I will show you some look that, you know, smarten up this marinière. So while I have these shoes, I was going to try those four jackets here and we're going to have a look if it works or not. So I was going to try my short uh, jacket. It's my build-up jacket again. How old is that jacket? I don't know, but not for 20 years. Well, I like that. I really like that. Um, to me, it's a no-brainer, you see? Um, casual, casual, beautiful jacket, and those snake, um, the snake coats. Now I would go out to the restaurant like that, uh, you know, for a nice meal with my, um, with my husband, with my friends. You no, know, it's a bit casual, and then you have those coats. You have this nice jacket, so it does look smart. So have a look, you know, at your jacket. You have something casual like that. Have a look at wearing a smart jacket. So I'm going to try something else now. Something for to try different looks, you know. Sometimes just a different, you know, a different pair of shoes, a different jacket changes your look completely. That's all it needs. You don't need to change all your clothes, just one or two pieces. So let's have a look at this leather jacket. It's dark brown. Yeah, that again, that still goes, and you have the, the brown with the shoe. So that goes well. Look at that. You know, a little bit edgy, as uh, they say. You know, here you are for errands, but also to go out. You know, for um, restaurant, really. not a thing. Of course, you know, nothing too uh, smart, but you know, mid of the mid of the road, and you kind of look smart. You know, but still a bit casual, and you look casual, still a little bit smart. So I like that. That gives you more options for outfits. See, that gives your pieces more wear so think about things like that think about you know mixing the smart with the casual casual with the smart you know um something dark something light um it's a little raincoat here again i mean you know it goes well you know it rains you want to put something a little bit a little bit dressier than just a anorak so something else, I'm gonna wear my trench coat. Let's have a look what it looks like with it. Um, you know, so have a look when you wear, do the same, you know, you bring a piece, have a look. I'm gonna try this with these shoes. I'm gonna try this jacket. Have a look, oh, with oh, this skirt, with these jeans, with this, um, uh, and again, look, just look at this. That works, that looks really nice. 
you know, I really like that look. You see just this, this marinière, and you can see how the various looks it gives you. This is ultra casual, and this is smart, and it just works. So think of things like that in your wardrobe. Sometimes we have many pieces, we always wear them the same, the same way, with the same pieces. Try it differently, okay? I'm gonna try something else now, different trousers. So, I have put my white jeans, uh, they're bootleg, bootcut, <laughs> not bootleg, and uh, my off-white loafers. Let's have a look. I like that as well. You know, if it doesn't look right for you, do not wear it. But you need to have a try. You know, there's some shoes like, okay, oh, I like that, or oh, no. But I think it would, that would go. I like that. And again, an element of smart to you, casual, because that's casual. But you know, white jeans, I like to say about white jeans, it's a step up from the blue jeans. Blue jeans are casual. Uh, white jeans are a step above. I'm wearing the smart loafers. Again, a smart, a smart uh, step above. So this, again, you know, this casual marinière is smartened up by the white jeans that are smartened up by those loafers. So tell me what you, uh, what you think. I like that sometimes, unexpected ways to wear something. You know, you create a brand new outfit. So I'm wearing my red ballet flats. To me, it's a no-brainer, yeah. Bleu blanc rouge, okay. If you're in America, you can wear that for the 1st of July. I really like that. Um, you know, it's nice to bring a little bit of color, but just in you know, a one piece. Okay, we have the stripe, we've got the, the, the red ballet flats. Uh, you have two areas are going to attract the eye, so have a look at that, you know. Are you happy with that or not? Um, but I like the little um, pop of color, the red, and the red with the stripes really go well. You could wear also, you know, a pair of red trousers if you had a pair of red jeans. Okay, so I'm wearing my navy blue sneakers with, has, um, with a white sole. So, there you go. You know, sometimes you think, oh, navy with the white trousers, but you know, they have hidden. We don't see them too much, I like that. Again, I think it looks very French. We like that. We, we always like look. Um, we always like blue um, and navy, navy and white. A classic combination. So try this if you like. You know, a classic combination. Something you, you know it's, that is easy to wear. Easy, easy to wear. Here you are. So I put on these new short-legged jeans. They are off-white. They're from Karen Millen. The new ones. I have not worn them yet outside. Uh, again with those off-white sneakers. Again, you know, very casual look. Again, you know, very casual, but not frumpy. I would be happy to go if I went to the beach, uh, get somewhere, you know, an ice cream, to go on a walk, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, it's, it is not frumpy, so I can still go out, I can still go to the chemist, can still, you know, go to most places to have a coffee somewhere. Uh, you know, wear it long like that if you like, you know, wear it tucked in, you know, again, uh, it gives you another look. This one is a bit more casual, a little bit more relaxed, uh, looks more like um, summer than the, these other white jeans. I think they look a little bit more uh, dressier, a little bit, um, you know, smarter than these. Please let me know what you think. Uh, but again, another different look, another pair of trousers, a different look. So, my red ballet flats on again, you know, with the trousers. I think this is very much an uh, Audrey look, um, Audrey Hepburn look. So, please let me know what you think. That looks very French. <laughs> you know, relax, have a look around. You go around for coffee, you go uh, on a holiday around the city, you go uh, on a museum visit, or you sit down in a cafe having a lovely uh, drink in the afternoon. Have a look at the people go by, you know, how easy that look is. So this time, my red ballet flat again, but this time, you know, my uh, A-line skirt. But I think the top looks better tucked in because it is, you know, an A-line skirt. It is not tight around the body. So if we, you're wearing your marinière loose over it, it's gonna make you look you know, wide at the top and wide here. Be careful when you do that, okay? You wear something loose, wear something tighter. You wear something, um, you know, loose here, wear something tight here. You know? Keep the balance. So I think, you know, tucked in like that, it looks good. You know, I like to say that with the 
with something midi length, a little bit longer, it's always a little bit better to wear heels. But in some cases, you can wear some flats as well. And in this case, you know, you can wear those flats. They are red, pop of color. Looks a little bit, yay, you know, a little bit fun. I really like that. So for the summer, if you do not wear shorts, wear a skirt and wear ballet flats, or wear sandals, you know, you can wear this again. How versatile is that? So now I am wearing my snake coats again and look at that a different look. This looks dressier suddenly. Why? Because of those heels. Those heels are amazing. Uh, by the way, they're so versatile, they're beautiful. I can wear, you know, wear those even with something like that. Okay? If you didn't think that you can wear that in a smart outfit, look at this. Okay, casual top, uh, middle of the range skirt, and look at this. Thanks to those coats and the skirt, suddenly you have a smart outfit. Now, if I wear my jacket, I would go out to a restaurant with that. Let me know what you think. But, you know, if I go to a restaurant in France like that, fine, yeah, great, that looks lovely. Um, you know, very good look, really happy with that. So what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you think of wearing the marinier or something like that? Okay, so now let's try, let's try something else. So now with my navy sneakers, you know, we were from small, now I change the shoes and look at that, it's back to casual. So this one, you know, if you were going uh, in the summer to visit something, you know, some um, um, historical monument or something, or in a museum, you know, you can still be well dressed, but wearing flats, you know. And again, this is not frumpy, you know, it's comfortable, but you're wearing a skirt, you're wearing that, so casual, but never, never, never frumpy. <laughs> so now, my, my beloved pair of jeans, boot cut. Again, okay, this is an, an absolute no brainer, but it works, you know, casual, but still. You know, I uh, can be smart because boot cut trousers can look smart depending on the shoes you wear. So, right, my loafers, my uh, nude loafers. Yeah, I'm saying it, that looks nice. I like that. Again, that looks smart now. It looks smart just because of those heel loafers. You know, absolutely amazing when you, you really think about a piece to bring it to your wardrobe and you make the right choice. Um, you know, because suddenly they can be worn with so many other pieces. I mean, you just think um, what you can wear with that. Try this, try that, you know. Uh, okay, let's have a look. When I wear my trench coat now. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. What do you think? So, I'm wearing my red Mary Janes. Look at that. Lovely little heel here and the right strap but don't worry about the strap because you have you're wearing uh, bootcut jeans so you know the strap will not cut your ankle because you will not see it but when you if let's say you're going out and uh, you know you're sitting down you cross your leg and you see the red strap here I mean this is this is a little sexy detail you know something we really like in uh, in France we don't like you know the overt thing that you say oh it's so sexy you know where you show everything no 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 the little thing the little unexpected and this is what is sexy so you know you're wearing that you do this and oh you know you're wearing trousers but look look at that this is sexy you know, the red shoe with a red strap you know it matches your red lipstick you know all that matters all that counts so okay you can look whoa and suddenly I look at that and say, oh, that's really nice, really nice outfit. And you can see how, just by keeping it simple, simple, everything I've shown you is very simple, not kind of a, you know, complicated layering, whether it's in your... No, everything's simple, okay? The, the number one pillar friendship is keep it simple. Like, look at that, it is simple, but it is such a lovely outfit, you know. I love that. Please let me know what you think. <laughs> so this one is a perfect size for me. Let's not forget, I'm a size 10 UK, size 6 US, and 38 in France. The sleeves are just right. Let's not forget, I've got long arms. So sometimes, if I, if I choose something a little bit the smaller size, you know, I don't know why, but they make 
sleeves like here, too short for me. So anyway, the right, the right sleeve length, the right length here, not too long, not too short. I've got a long body as well. Long body, long legs, long everything, you know. Um, and it just fits me really well. It's not wide, it's not too tight. I really like that. Um, it's a lovely sweater. You know, I knew we were gonna like it, but I didn't realize how much I was going to love it. It is in wool, in the wool. Um, so it's gonna be warm. Absolutely love it. So, okay, so with these trousers, okay, look at that. I think it looks nice. You know, that can be worn casual, that can be worn um, smart depending on what you wear with it. So it's, it's, this is absolute classic, French classic, okay? <laughs> um, everybody in front, in the wardrobe, in the closet, have a navy sweater. Do you have a navy sweater? You should. These are absolutely classic, timeless, can be worn with everything. The versatile item. Uh, par excellence, I mean, you know, when I think of that, you know, um, versatile item by excellence, thinking of French style, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, there's so many versatile, classic, timeless items, you know, in a French style. Par excellence, because most of our wardrobe, probably 80%, is comprised of these little treasures. Okay, my snake print uh, cords, I absolutely love them, and look how versatile they are, oh my gosh. So again, you know, this is fairly casual, but as I said, it could be smartened up with what you want to wear these blue jeans and look with this coat. So me, um, being French, I would wear that in a restaurant. I would wear that, you know, in a cafe with my husband, you know, a lot of places. Obviously, I don't have to walk much because of the high heels, but look at that. What, please let me know what you think, but... Fantastic outfit. Okay, now let's try a uh, trend. Will that go with my trench? Again, this is one of those treasures. Uh, versatile, timeless, classic items that go with everything. You need to have one. So, oh my gosh, look at this. Look at this. This is a little beauty. So, you know, <laughs> you know when people tell you, ah, oh, French style is boring. Don't believe them. You know, don't believe them. This is classic. Is that boring? No. This is classic. Is that boring? No. This is classic. Is that boring? No. These are classic. Is this outfit boring? No. Okay. Look at this. The things you can do. Do it with a flair, you know, and a good choice. So look, I'm wearing my loafers. Do they work? Yes. I mean, look at that. And you know why? You can wear almost any shoes you want because this, you know, this will. Uh, this will be receding to the eye and then you can show the shoes you want like for instance when I was wearing my red um, Mary Jane's The eye goes straight to your shoes. You can show off your fantastic shoes. You can show off sexy shoes your heels Oh my gosh, you know and you without over, you know looking overly sexy in French chic We do not do the overly sexy casual navy Ah, you know. oh, Sexy shoes. This is again Think about that, the little detail, little sexy detail, you know, this little sexy thing that is never in your face, but you have to almost kind of discover it. Oh, this is the sexy, the unexpected. Think about that. So I'm wearing this sweater with my A-line skirt. So you can wear the sweater uh, over if you like. You can wear it, you know, inside like this or, you know, just tuck it in the front as you wish. Just always wear your clothes the way that, you know, for you, it looks the best, the most flattering. And I've added um, navy blue cord. These are from LK Bennett. Again, that looks smart. Look at that. No longer, I mean, this thing can be, can be anything you want. And I like that in clothes. That can be anything you want it to be, okay? Just choose your shoes, you know, a skirt. I would wear that for work. I would go wear that to go to a restaurant. Look at that. I think that looks very smart. And again, how simple is this outfit? Oh, I'm so excited today in this showing you, showing you all these clothes and this outfit. So many possibilities, so many options. Okay, so I'm wearing that. What could I wear with that? So I think I could go with a shorter jacket. Let's try that. Okay, so. Oh. You know, and you think, oh, navy, navy, yes, we're navy, navy. <laughs> look at that. It, I would go to work like that quite happily, and I would look very smart. I really like that look. Look at this. 
I hope you like those outfits I'm showing you. And, um, you know, just try to do the same with your own things, you know? Find some pieces really like. If you, if you, you know, okay, the marinier we're talking about before, I didn't mention that earlier, but it widens your top. So if you are an inverted triangle, do not wear it. And if you have a big bust, do not wear it. But everybody else, you know, can. So um, let's have a look. Something is cool. So I'm wearing these blue sneakers. I'm looking at them thinking, mm, I'm not that keen on that. You know? So that's an interesting thing. Not everything you're going to wear is going to, to um, you know, it's going to look great or with, you know, it can look good, but you may not like it. And, you know, I'm looking at that. Mm, I'm not liking it. And it could be because it's, it's cutting my, my feet, I don't know, with the length of the skirt. Think of that, you know. Maybe something, like, mm, if it's not a, wow, I love this outfit. Then if it's a, <laughs> may, well, it's going to be a no. So try something else. I'm going to try some of the shoes. So I'm wearing those off-white trainers. Okay, I prefer this look more than with the navy. But still, yeah, I suppose you can wear that to go to the beach, you know, to, uh, you're going to climb over rocks or something, or <laughs> I don't know, uh, on a boat, you know, something like you need to be, uh, comfortable, we still want to wear a skirt, you know, that would go. It is not, I don't think it's a fantastic outfit, it's not an outfit that's gonna say, oh wow! No, but you know, that works. I prefer these than with the navy, but I think with the red belly flat, I'm gonna put them on now, I think it's gonna be look nicer. Okay, so I've got my belly flats here, I much prefer them, I don't know, can you see them? <laughs> okay, um, Yes, and you know, it could be because the this is a low hem line and with the belly flat it shows more of the foot, you know, it doesn't cut the foot at the, hang, at the ankle and I think it looks a little bit more feminine, so think about that as well, you know, sometimes you can have some look like, look too masculine, cut off your legs, you know, mm, not that flattering, so think about something, okay, this is flat comfortable, okay, but more flattering than those sneakers. Uh, the sneakers, I like them with, with, with trousers, with jeans or something like that. Um, I mean, it's my preference, but um, with the skirt, I, you know, mm. so definitely the blue ones, I didn't like them. The off-white were better, but these, I prefer them uh, more than the others. So um, I'm going to try one more pair for you. So I knew these were going to work. You know, again, my snake skin, um, not snake skin, snake print. Uh, leather cords and just that oh my goodness me and you can see how most of I mean you have seen by now a lot of my clothes and you can see how most of my pieces are so so versatile and again this is no longer um, the sweater is no longer something that is casual it's casual smart casual chic you know look at this just because of a different pair of shoes amazing how we can transform an outfit just with one item I love with these uh, new loafers because it, the, the, the jeans are boot cut, so it's nice to have a little bit of a heel. A little better like that. That looks nice. And again, you know, smart, so you can still walk around. You know, look casual if you want. Um, in French League, we don't like look looks that, or outfit that looks as if you have tried too hard. You know, we always say the French women, you know, oh, it looks so simple and everything like that. But you know, it's always simple because it always looks like you have not tried too hard. Even if you have spent two hours trying to create an outfit, you know, it doesn't look like you've tried too hard. And I think, and I think that's a success. So in this look, I'm just wearing my uh, off-white um, sneakers. And again, you know, that is a casual, casual look. And this is very much an Ines de la Fressange look. She wears uh, even a uh, looser style of trousers than these, but she wears sneakers a lot. Uh, you know, navy she wears a lot as well. This relaxed, relaxed look. She never looks like she tries too hard, but um, she always looks fantastic. So, Ines, if you are watching, love you. Um, so, you know, again, this is such an easy look to create. No need to overthink things. Um, you know, the thing to overthink maybe is when you buy your piece okay make sure this is a decision um, the main decision 
um, process, if you like, of all your, your, your style in your closet, in your wardrobe. This is when you need to overthinking, think long and hard about which piece you want. And after, well, afterwards, your work would be, your, the work would be so much easier because most things will go together. Some sneakers, I can't wear trench coats, you know. Uh, okay, let's try this look and see it for ourselves. This is something I want you to do as well, you know. Um, try things that you think may not work. Okay, look. And I think that would be an Ines de la look as well. You know, sneakers, loose trousers, the navy, the trench, look at that. I would wear that very happily indeed. So another Audrey Hepburn look yeah. with the skinny jeans. So I'm wearing those uh, hemline, it's a bit long, so you can do a number of things with it. You don't have to have, to have it cut and stitch. You know, just put it like that on the outside. Depending on the shoes you have, it creates a different look. You know, you don't like it like that, put it on the inside. You can put it like, make it smaller and uh, turn it over twice, you know, that kind of thing. And you can change, again, you can change the look of your, of your outfit, you know, without trying too hard. <sighs> Simple, yes, but a different look. What do you think? So this look, you know, I would call it casual. That's, that's very much a casual look in France. You would see, you know, all navy outfit. But you know, sometimes we think, oh, all in one color navy. What is the navies don't match? The thing is with navy and especially with jeans, you don't have to have it matching. And this is the beauty of it, okay? Because those shoes are navy, that is dark navy, they go together. And this one, everything goes with jeans. So that goes really well. And again, you know, it may be the same color, but different textures. And there's a video of mine that I created about, you know, how to wear a color, one color, but with different textures, you know, it brings a little bit of something interesting. You don't want to wear you know, the same, you know, for instance, you know, velour, 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 or um, leather, leather, leather throughout. You know, you need to, to vary the fabrics of your item. So for instance, in this outfit, I have wool, merino wool, I have cotton and I have canvas. So, you know, it varies. Um, I mean, you can wear this outfit anywhere. Again, you know, you go on a, on a city tour, you're going shopping, so uh, whatever. You can wear this, you can wear this. So many, so many things. Again, don't overthink it. Don't, don't overthink it. <laughs> don't overthink it. I think I'm getting a little bit tired now. So what else have we got? I've got this, uh, the skinny, uh, off-white jeans to show you. Look, look, look. I need to show you before we go. Look at this. I forgot. Look, just okay. This was with the other shoes, a uh, casual outfit. But look at this. I've just changed to my, you know, beloved. <laughs> this is going to become such a classic. Um, snake print shoes, my courts. But look at that. Yeah, I would go to the restaurant with that. Let me know what you think. I would, in France certainly, oh yeah. Oh, I love this, I love these two pieces I brought to my wardrobe, suddenly, you know, with just two items. How many outfits have I got? And I, you know, I didn't try everything on that I could, that could work to show you just two items. I probably have maybe 40, 60 more outfits. Are we ever thinking like that? <sighs> Amazing. Okay, oh wow. Oh. I like it. Oh, I just caught a, um, you know, my hands in the pockets. I love this. Just look at this. I mean, this is really casual. This is, you know, casual but smart, whichever you want to, to make it. Suddenly, navy blue stilettos. Look at that. Again, I would go out with that. Let me know what you think. Oh my gosh. This is what I want for you. This is the kind of wardrobe I want for you, my lovely French chic ladies. You know, be careful at what you buy. And once you bring those pieces, you're going to be so excited, passionate. This is how I feel right now. I'm showing you this outfit. I'm thinking, oh, it just worked. Oh, I would wear this here. I would wear this. Don't forget to take pictures as well for you because, so that you don't forget. <laughs> so what else can I wear with that? Let's have a look at another pair of shoes. Mm. Okay, you know, it just goes together, but I don't like the look. Maybe if I was 15, 
I don't like it for me, I must say. I don't like it for me. No, I don't. Let me know what you think, but really, I don't like the look for me. Okay? And it's something, again, you know, uh, to think about, you know, when I'm, I look at myself like that and I'm saying, mm. I take, mm. I'm thinking, mm. it is not, oh, yeah, it is, mm. no. So, no, I would not wear these together. I don't like the look, you know, that and that is fine. But the shoes, I don't like the look of that with that, you know, with the trousers. And I look at myself afterwards, I look at my face and I think, no, probably this too young a look, I don't know. I just don't like it. I don't like it together. So, so it shows you not everything will work. Okay. <laughs> the, last, the last look, you know, those red ballet flats, I tell you, <sighs> classic. Classic, classic, yes, it works. Yeah, I would wear that for the 4th of, 4th of July in America, definitely. Would you? I think so. So, again, you know, all these outfits to show you, you can make the look casual, you can make the look, you know, casual, chic, smart, depending on one or two things. I have not even tried, you know, more jacket than these. I have not tried the handbags or jewelry. Everything is kept simple to show you even more options, you know. Um, definitely in France, we don't go overboard with jewelry. We keep things simple. Uh, and you certainly, you know me, uh, you know, my jewelry is always simple jewelry. Uh, but, you know, try things. So again, you know, with just two um, absolutely, quintessentially French, those two items, navy wool sweater, you know, nautical uh, style. We have this epaulette and this quintessential classic timeless marinière. These just two items. Look at how many outfits I showed you today. And it's by far not even half probably as many um, outfits I could show you. I will order the smaller size of the marinière and I will show you in another video how better it fits me and may probably show you a few outfits. I will put the links to these, um, to these pieces and to the pieces I show you in this video in the link in the description box of this video. So thank you very much for watching. Please share this video to your many friends because sharing is chic and I will see you in my next video. Thank you very much for watching. Au revoir.